I'm Stuart from the Edinburgh branch of Ruffians. Seeing as a lot of us have been finding it difficult to get to our regular barbers at this point in time, I thought I'd share with you today some tips on how to maintain your hair, keep it looking good, and these tips will be particularly helpful for people of similar hair texture to mine. So as you can see, my hair texture is actually very straight. So when I wash my hair, it tends to get quite fluffy, sticks straight out, and I get a lot of body of my hair. And as my hair grows out, it tends to show more quickly on the sides than it does on the top, and it just kind of goes out of the way. Therefore, my usual routine for styling my hair is washing it the night before, blow drying it with a hairdryer very quickly, and sleeping on it. And this helps kind of calm down the kind of voiness and also the fluffiness of the hair. So this is what I'll, I'll work with in the morning when I'm styling my hair. So what I'll be using is a pair of straighteners. These can be found uh, online, anything from 15 to 25 pounds. You get some more, more expensive ones, but they're not entirely necessary to be too expensive. So what I'll do is I'll start with sections at the front and then work my way up to the crown area, taking note of where my crown is, which is here. And then I'll do uh, the area around the crown. I won't need to do the sides because obviously they're too short. I can't do them anyway, but it's more focusing to give kind of more movement and texture in the air rather than a curl, just to kind of bend the hair slightly, give a bit of, kind of movement and rub the product into the air. So we'll start at the front. And I'm just going to work methodically all the way up to the top of it and the crown is. I'm just bending the hair slightly. Straighteners. So you're putting them in and bending. And then when I'm working into the back, I will take the sections at the back of my crown and work around the crown, which is here, and go all the way around. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. So now that I've got the texture in the hair, I can add a bit of product in. So today we'll be using some of Ruffian's matte clay. And I'm going to use a blob about that much. I'm just going to work that between my hands so it's nice and coated no big lumps and I'll start at the back just to work that into the root area and then into the front now generally I will wear my fringe down But as the hair gets longer, my, this haircut will get, seem to get rounder. So I tend to wear, as the hair gets longer, I will wear the hair more up. So I'll push this up and off my face. And that will elongate the haircut and make your sides appear more kind of narrow. And then to finish, I'm going to use some of Ruffian's Marine Salt Spray. And this is just to give you a bit of definition and light hold in the hair. on that's about it so as you can see I've given my hair more texture movement and height and I've taken that kind of very strong kind of straightness out of the hair and softened up slightly I've also kind of kind of balanced up the shape where my head was looking a bit too round and the haircut was looking a bit too round so I've kind of elongated the, the height in the, the end style so I hope these tips were useful to you and I look forward to seeing you all back at Ruffin's in the near future and take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.